In this video, we'll have a look at a cool WooCommerce reseller plugin to help you sell product not only to retail customers, but also to distributors and wholesalers. All right, so the plugin we'll be using is the AOV Up Wholesale plugin, right? And we can get started free. Of course, if you want more advanced features, then I highly recommend going for the pro plan, right? But if you're just getting started, the free version is just fine. So I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description below, or you can just head over to AOVUp.com and go ahead and download this plugin. With that being said, let's have a look at a quick example for this product here is $9.99 for our retail customers. However, when we log in as a reseller, we can see the pricing changes, right? So we can see the pricing is $5 instead of, and we can refresh this as well. We can see the pricing is $5 instead of that $9.99. So we're able to add different pricing to the same product based on who is actually shopping on our store. So if it's a retail customer, we can show one price. If it's a reseller or a wholesale customers, we can show another price. We can also create tiered pricing, volume based discount. We can conditional shipping and payments, right? And so much more. But with that being said, let's get straight into the tutorial. Assuming you've downloaded the AOV Up wholesale plugin, the next step is to go ahead and configure our B2B store. I've already got everything installed and activated. So we'll navigate over to AOV Up and then wholesale pricing. Okay, so under user role management, if we enable this, we can add any new user role that we want to create, right? By default, it'll automatically create a wholesale user role, but we can go ahead and create a reseller user role. So I'm just going to type in um, reseller and then the display name will just be reseller as well. And then we'll copy the permission type from our customer role. So customer role is the default role that WooCommerce give to all regular customers, right? So we'll just click add role. All right, and now we'll navigate down to where it says pricing groups. So this is where we'll create our pricing groups, right? So I'm just gonna delete this one and then we'll just click add new. And then here we can create the name of our pricing group. Again, this is just for internal purposes, just so we can quickly establish which pricing group is which, right? So for example here, so the idea is we want to be able to group similar customers together, right? So within this group, we can, so let's just give it a name. So I'm just going to put B2B here because this is for our B2B customer group. And we're going to say it applies to, and then we'll select specific user role. And then we will say wholesale customer, but also our reseller, all right? So this B2B group is for our wholesale user role and our reseller user role. We can even be more specific as well, because later on, we're going to tailor the price and then the discount based on a customer's user role. So for example, we can actually segment our wholesale customers or our resellers based on a country as well. So for example, let's say we've got product A and in the US, we want to charge our resellers, let's say $50, right? Whereas in the UK for that same reseller user group, maybe we want to charge them $55, right? Or vice versa. So this is where a group comes in. It gives us the ability to customize the pricing and the display discounts and so on based on the user so for countries, I'm just going to leave it blank. So essentially, there won't be no difference from a resale customer signing up from the UK or the US. It'll just all be the same, right? Just to simplify things. But we've got that option to segment our customer group that way. All right. So we've got the option to add our MSRP prefix if we're going to add a MSRP pricing, right? So for our wholesale customers, our B2B customers, we can display only the B2B pricing or we can display the retail price and the B2B price so they can see the clear price savings that they're getting over retail customers, right? But if you just wanted to show the wholesale pricing, we just enable this option here and then we just click add group. Okay, so now what will happen is on the product level, so let's go ahead and view one of our product. Okay, let's view this product here. Okay, so here we can see that the regular price is $9.99 and this is for our retail customers, right? However, now we've got this new pricing section which applies to our wholesale customers and our resellers. So we can actually set the price in here to $5, for example, right? And then let's update this and let's view our product. So for everyone, including admin, it will be $9.99. However, for our wholesalers, then it will be $5, right? So let's quickly check that now. So let's go users. I'm going to change this customer to a reseller and I'm going to change the password. Let's open up a private browser. All right, we can see it's 999. Now let's go ahead and log in. 
since I'm logged in as a reseller, we can see that the pricing is $5, all right? So I think we'll leave it here. Let's have a quick glimpse of what else we can do. So all that I've mentioned is achievable with the free version, right? If we go with the pro version, then we can include quotes, tier pricing, we can create advanced tax exemption, we can add a lead time, we can add a conditional ship. So for example, for our retail customers, the standard shipping probably wouldn't apply for our resellers, right? Since they'll be ordering in bulk and most of the time, we'll actually need to provide them with a custom quote for the shipping, right? So this is where conditional shipping and payment comes in handy because then we can conditionally hide or display certain shipping methods, certain payment methods to different customer segments, right? We can enable minimum and maximum order quantity and so much more. But that's just a quick glimpse of what you can do with the AOV of Wholesale plugin. Again, you can get started for free. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.